Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off with going back maybe two or three videos to a roundabout that keeps popping up on the channel. Now I've been getting plenty of abuse about me saying the wrong thing. Rule wise, not just me saying the wrong thing, saying it the wrong way. It's about the rules that they're having a go at me about. Some of these guys are actually saying that I am dangerous because I am actually telling people the wrong rules on roundabouts. I will prove that I'm not saying the wrong thing. I may be saying it in the wrong sort of way with my wording, but it is priority to the right. Every time that I ask them to show me some proof that if you're on the roundabout first, you have priority over everyone else, they get more insulting and they never come back with any proof. Which means one thing, doesn't it? That they're talking a load of old bollocks. Now the wording that I should be using is give priority to traffic approaching from the right. And that is actually in the highway code, worded like that. There is nothing in the highway code that I can see that says you have priority if you are there first. I'm going to show you a video of a roundabout where that would be disastrous if you had, if you were there first and you had priority because you would be hit within seconds. Let me show you the clips I'm referring to where I've got all the abuse from. Right, we're coming up to a roundabout. It's so simple, isn't it? Roundabouts. Priority to the right. Do I have to say it again? Priority to the right. Now we show this in slow motion again. I mean, look at that face. I don't think that's her finger pointing up at me. Now, the one thing I will agree with one of the comments was that I should have made it a non-issue, i.e. I should have just backed off and let her get on with it. But there shouldn't have been an issue there in the first place if she was following the rules correctly. But having said that, by the look on her face, she actually looks confused, like she doesn't know what she's done wrong. So we'll move on now to some more roundabouts where other people got confused with the rules in the comment section again. It's priority to the right, remember. Another one. Another one. What is it about this roundabout? Now this is a new one. Happened to me the other day. As I approach the same roundabout, you've got this clown coming here. You can see his giveaway lines there. You can see mine there too. You're also supposed to go around that, not over the top of it. And we all pinch a little bit, but not completely over the top of it like that. Now the thing is, what these people are saying to me is that if they're on the roundabout first, they have priority. But that will create someone rushing to get to the roundabout first. Which is ridiculous. It's just going to end up having so many accidents. I seriously do not know where these people are getting this from. Now look at this motorbike. Why is he not gone? It's a roundabout there. He would be on the roundabout before that van. Why is he not gone again? He would be on there before this lorry. Why is he not gone now? He would still be on there before that Audi. Why? Because it's not the rule. And if you look at just this one on its own, he would be dead in seconds. He would have a lorry, a van or something on top of him in seconds if he listened to some of my viewers who seem to think that it's first come, first serve. It's a ridiculous comment and it did need addressing because it's dangerous. It is seriously, seriously dangerous if you think that this is the right way of doing it. And this is not just one person saying this. There are a few of you that's saying first come, first serve. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. And I'm going to show you the highway code now. So here we are. Rule 185. Give priority to traffic approaching from the right. Approaching. Very important word. Unless directed otherwise by signs or road markings or traffic lights. Now, this is the rule that a lot of people are getting confused about. Watch out. What ridiculous words. Watch out for all other road users already on the roundabout. Be aware they may not be signalling correctly or at all. Really? I can't believe it. Watch out. What the hell does that mean? Priority 
gazumps watch out all right priority is above watch out now if any of the viewers that have been putting comments about the roundabouts are watching this could you please direct me to where it says that it's first come first serve on a roundabout in the highway code and not just something that you've dreamed up yourself because if it is in there i will apologize and i will eat a big piece of humble pie so we're still on roundabouts the very same roundabout i'm coming from the same way the woman was Now, obviously, I'm going to be looking to the right. I'm going to be there well before that van, but he's got priority over me because he's approaching from the right. So I don't pull out like she did. Notice the difference? Again, we're still on roundabouts. I'm approaching the roundabout and I have a car to my left hand side, a BMW. It's there already. It's So it's there before me, well before me but I'm approaching from the right, so I've got priority. And if we go to the rear camera, you'll see him just wait for me to go past him and then turn left behind me. Not a problem, it's the way it should be done. And if a BMW driver can do it, anybody can do it, even an Audi. So we're still on roundabouts. I come to this roundabout and lo and behold, I have an Audi coming from the right hand side. So it has priority over me. But in true Audi fashion, it's not indicating. It wants to turn left and I can see that by its positioning. So I don't wait for it. I go because I know that Audis have a phobia about touching their indicator lever. And if we go to the rear view camera now, you'll see the car behind me have to slow up now because it wasn't sure where the Audi was going. And that Audi driver will have no idea what it's done there by not indicating. So we're coming to yet another roundabout. We're looking at this car over here, but we're also looking for a car that's coming from the right hand side that has priority, but for me makes a massive meal out of this. Right, we're coming up to another roundabout. This will be the last roundabout of this video. There's an Audi coming from the left hand side in a second. Do you think it could have stopped if I was a little bit closer and I was turning right? Look how fast it's gone through there. It can't see me because I couldn't see him. So how fast do you want to go to hit the roundabout? So we'll speed it up to something that isn't a roundabout. We're looking at the car coming towards us. How blatant can you be about using a mobile phone? This guy here, can you see a face looking at me when he pulls out there? I couldn't. I'll show you again in slow motion and I'll zoom it in. I can't see anyone looking, just pull straight out. Now in this clip, we're looking at a private hire driver. I generally call them professional drivers, but people keep telling me off for saying that. It's this one here. He's about to enter a yellow box junction and he panics and pulls out in front of that car. Now, does he want that lane that he was in or does he want the lane that he's just pulled into? Because he's not letting anyone know what he wants to do now. There is vehicles in front of him. But I can't see any more. So as I move out, there you go. But an indication would be nice. It's not until I go past him that he actually puts his bloody indicator on. They are made from different cloth, aren't they, these people? They really are. We're looking at the white car up in front. I had plenty of time to stop. I don't know why it didn't. It's red. Now in this clip, you can see how close that crossing is. There it is there.
Even the wildlife are taking the piss out of me. It crosses there, but not only does it cross there, it actually has a little sit down. All that's missing is his little red jacket. It could be a just stop oil protester. Now in this clip, it shows that parking facing oncoming traffic isn't a very good idea because basically you can't see through other cars. So you've got no choice but to pull out to be able to see. So three cars here have had to wait for you to pull out of a parking space. And did you notice? No thank you, no sorry, no nothing. When I see someone drive like this behind me, I do often wonder or often think, when are you going to fucking grow up, boy? like to be in my car with me it's up to you plenty of room park your one up now we're driving through a one-way system at the moment and he's about to go straight on into an industrial estate and the road literally ends in meters he's got nowhere to go but he still has to give it plenty on the accelerator pedal. What an absolute child. Now I'm coming up to this set of traffic lights that I know quite well. So I know which side goes first and all of that sort of stuff. Now I know that that cyclist there that's come through or that one, one of them has gone through a red light. They don't go at the same time, them lights. But up there in front, there is a cyclist waiting at a red light in front of these two cars. You can't see it at the moment, but it's waiting at a red light. Yes, I know. But something kind of weird happens. The cyclist, well, it's not kind of weird for the cyclist. The cyclist goes for a red light, but the two cars follow him. Follow the cyclist, yeah? That's weird. Follow the cyclist through the red light. Well done, guys. So in this clip, we're looking over to the left-hand side, a jogger. Surely you've got to look behind you if you're just going to run in the road like that. In this clip, yes, we're looking at the Audi. Always an Audi. We're both coming up this slip road and look, it does indicate. Not much, but it does. Don't want to waste any of that indicator fluid. So we're coming up to some road signs in a minute, which basically says the right hand lane comes into the left hand lane. So what does that mean? I know, go out to the right hand lane. Hmm, I do know what it's doing, it just made me chuckle. There is a right turning up here, which it obviously wants. But in true Audi fashion, they don't do it the correct way though, do they? So it's gonna drive over the hatch markings, doesn't need to, but it's gonna do it anyway. Ways an Audi. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.